Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so tonight we're going to do a band scan of the medium wave with the CC Radio EP Pro. It's a new radio that I got in, and I reviewed it, and I didn't get enough time to go through the medium wave band. It's most important to me, um, so we're going to spend some time on it tonight. Uh, the other day, when I filmed that first video, I spent about a couple, two, three hours that evening after the video and had fun going through the dial, and holy smokes, is it awesome. <laughs> it really pulls the stations in. I actually logged a new station. I wanted to mention it real quick before we get started. KFAB, 1110 AM, out of Omaha, Nebraska. Now, it sounds familiar, and I may have found it once before, but never logged, never wrote it down, never put it in my tablet. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find a note of it. So I might have possibly in one of my videos hit that station, but it's a very hard station to hit. And the reason being is that on 1100, we have WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, which usually is booming. And of course, 1120, we have KMOX, St. Louis, uh, which is, you know, 275 miles away. So those are pretty close stations regarding uh, trying to find that Omaha, Nebraska station sandwiched in between. So I was really happy I was able to find it with this radio. Pretty awesome. So had a new find. I wanted to put it out there. So here we go. Um, and to address the power thump issue, somebody mentioned that it was supposed to be fixed um, in my post. Uh, C Crane did not acknowledge that. They just said this is normal operation. When you turn the power on and it makes that popping noise, that it's okay. Um, I'm going to send my warranty registration in. I got a year warranty. So if there's any issues, um, I can get it fixed. So I'm thinking a year's worth of use. If, if it something gave out, I'd be okay and covered. So, but you can hear it. Yeah, so it's, it's a loud pop. I'm kind of discouraged by that, but it's not like I turn the radio on and off every five minutes. So, and to be honest with you, I plugged it in. Maybe I just leave the radio run all the time. Uh, some people do that. I used to do it with my Sony, just let it run, you know, for months and months on end. I, I hope this radio can handle that because my Sony did. So, all right, so we're going to start at the bottom of the band. We're going to use a little CC pocket here. Um, last night, it could not keep up. <laughs> I did a band scan last night. This couldn't keep up with this as far as I dial in a station with this and I could not find it with this at all. <laughs> so this is rocking, let me tell you. Uh, but I'm going to have this handy. This does help. Uh, one of those weird stations that I can get, you know, both on there, I'll be able to log it. But it is 10, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Give you an idea of location and time and we'll get started. So let's get that handy there. We're ready to rock and roll. So turn us up. I got the ferrite knob in the middle, and we will use this if we have to. Up a base there, probably down a little bit for searching. Turn the treble up. Yeah, okay. So let's go. Oh yeah, so this is that station I tried to figure out what the heck is going on here on 530. <laughs> I can't get it with the pocket. <laughs> this is definitely 530 though. Tested this. Fine tuning, it really brought up the game normal that's beautiful for the direction we're gonna leave it on narrow there's wide <laughs> but the police were outside <laughs> Forty. Ever had. You have you have bonus points here that I have to flip the page over. 
Um, what part of town you calling from? St. Chuck. St. Chuck. Good. We love St. Charles. That's all. Uh, give a cheap plug to where you work. Cooper's American Pub and Grill. Ah, where's well, that? Uh, Mexico Road in Grand Teton. Oh, I have to come by. I'm I'm over in O'Fallon. All right, we don't want to spend forever on it, but I'm going to look at where he's talking about, where they're at. I think this is St. Louis, KTRS, um, 5.50 a.m., St. Louis, Missouri, which is 275, 275 miles with 5,000 watt tower. Cool. We will try to verify. Should be 560. Yeah, nice and loud. Five eighty? Not sure what's on there. Tuning. You could really sit here and just wait for station callers to come in. It's awesome. Waiting for call letters, but we're not going to find them. Got intense. I think you could knock out this 50,000 in 18 months. 18 to 24. And again, this is being being very, very focused and very intentional. Six, Thinking about extra years. ways to bring in money. Uh, tighten up your budget. But I'm going to tell you this. Most people, they're not aware of this. Food is the biggest expense that people overspend on. Okay. I know if I came in your pantry right now, you got all kinds Cedar Rapids, of Iowa, 175 miles. This is WMT, 5,000 watt tower. Boy, there's a lot going on here. We haven't got very far. 610. Yep, 610. But just amazing. This is a really good example. Now that's living. Look for Cedar Crest frozen custard at your favorite store. CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watt tower. Should be, I'm just going to double check that. Yep. Something going on with 640 here. It's so easy to tune it in. So we all know what that is. It's pretty easy. WSM, Nashville, 650, 434 miles away. Just go ahead and keep rolling. Six seventy. There is a six eighty. Sometimes you can get it. We're not going to get it today. This would be TSN six ninety. Yeah, it is. So this is um, Montreal, Quebec, seven hundred sixty-three miles. 
but to clear it up. And manipulating the fine tuning. Try to help it. Okay. Keep rolling. WLW Cincinnati. Nice and strong. Sounds like a local. 300 miles. One time I found 710. I don't think we're going to get it today, though. Well, I'm just guessing. One ball, one strike. So and this is 720. Um, I think this is the Cubs the versus the Cardinals. Is that the change up? Because it sounded like it. Uh, I, I think it was. They had 48 saves with Tampa in okay. 2012. Now listen to this. 48 saves in a .60 error rate. They gave up five earned runs in 74 innings. I'm going to get the guys who got the five runs off of I was off the end of the bat. Sounds pretty good. I think you guys into sports would like to hear that. I mean, that's as cool. I've actually been listening to a lot of sports lately. Um, I'm not usually a person who likes to listen to sports on the radio, but now I am. <laughs> so I was listening to the uh, talk on the Kentucky Derby, actually. It was pretty cool. On ESPN 1000. This is Zoomer. I'd love to let it sit there, but I'll definitely get a copyright. <laughs> um, coming in clear, and that's, yeah, in the middle with the tuning. Okay. You're listening to on Zoomer Radio, where tonight the show is all about Italy and Italians. And CFZM is 460 miles. Let's see if we can get WSB Atlanta next to it. There we go. In those number of years, what are you going to have to live on at that point? Well, so 750 is uh, WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. So let's see if we can brighten it up. We're going to play with the uh, volume and fine tuning. Correct. And what percent of your living cost do you think? Actually, that was the main tuning knob. Here's the fine. Well, if we downsize, which is the plan is to, to downsize our house, we should be mortgage debt free. So I would expect that it would cover as long as we're both, you know, collecting. It should cover a majority of it. I just think we would not need to pull out too much. So you can kind of get rid of some of that. I hear some other station on there behind it. I feel it cleared up with the fine tuning. It kind of helps null it out. What happens in a case like that? Cool. Many times would rather talk about a than talk about okay this guy goes on and on that's all right this is 760 wjr detroit nights can seem endless this is my local 780 WBM Chicago. I don't think I'll get 770 tonight. Let's try it. Cool. So 770 is uh, there. That's New York City. Um, 770 is WABC. New York City, 750 miles, and so we can clear it up. So you play with that, you can make that pretty legible, especially if you're using headphones. Alright, we may not get through the whole band tonight. <laughs> I'm going pretty slow because there's so much. Here's Abby Ryan. This is 800. Um, CKLW Windsor, Ontario. CC Pocket's keeping up. It's good to see. Eight ten. Uh, 
which we got a couple stations on. So I bet you this is WGY, Albany, New York, because in this direction I get most of my New York stations. Um, when I turn it, of course, this is my south facing, and I get all my, you know, New Orleans, Georgia, so give you an idea what's going on there. All right, so yeah, I'm sorry, east, east-west. Okay, so we got, yeah, hopefully that's what that is. We didn't get any call letters, but I'm assuming that's what that's going to be. Be A20. Yeah, so A20. This is probably Fort Worth, Texas. Um, WBAP, uh, which is 810 miles away. Because that's towards Texas. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Okay, cool. We're finding them. We're finding them. This is a great radio. So this is 8.30. And I think there might be interference, I think from the, from the camera I'm using. Um, because I do sometimes get this and it comes in clear in the evening, so. Uh, Minneapolis, WCCO, a couple of, 300 miles. Go ahead and... Okay, well, we got that. 840. Star Wars movie. Here's ABC's Jason Nathan. This is 850. A big station, KOA Denver. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. 860. Oh, and we'll keep it here for WLW so we can get that in. Should be able to. There it is. Cool. Very nice. So, WWL, New Orleans, 865 miles. Next should be 880. WCBS, New York City, 750 miles. More interference, I think, from the camera on 890. Trying for 900. I'm not getting it in my pocket. Definitely 900 here, I bet. If we sat here, it would probably come in a little clearer. This is CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. So I could go through here, but mainly the stations in here are like Detroit stations, um, some semi-locals that are low power. So I'm going to go right up to 1,000. You can see about dial accuracy. Coming out of the East Coast. I mean, to look at the lineup for our live 
two show on Sunday. You get a tip off of the classified, folk pop and rose cousin. You get a new phone. Alan Doyle, then you've got Neon Dreams making big... CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Manitoba, sorry, 675 miles. It's constantly being redefined. Hey, what's inside you? From building muscle to finding the best multis. Get the highest quality wellness solution. This is AM1000. That's where my dial's at. Slightly off. Live well. For all the latest headlines and information, tune in to SportsCenter on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. Two dollars. 1010. I just haven't been finding any legible stations on any of my radios. I there, Ted. I'd be real careful about uh, who I did that around. But, uh, anyway, 1020, KDK. That's a good thing. All right, now then. Yep. In the fast lane. That sounds like the, uh, the is Pittsburgh, reverse. Pennsylvania, 450 miles. Should be WBZ. Yep. So this is uh, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. Ten forty. Um, it's coming uh, nice. Last night it wasn't. This is uh, WHO, Des Moines, Iowa. And 280 miles. 280 miles. Zero miles. KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 700 miles. I think there's a wellspring of God eternal life flow free come to us who accept the gift of Christ. Ten ninety. His gift breaks the chain of sin. I don't remember this being Christian. K A A Y Little Rocks. I'm about to see if there's a different station on on ten ninety. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Just keep rolling. Indians win six to two. Well, we WTAM eleven hundred Cleveland. Three hundred forty-five miles. Two of those runs off that. Uh, so right in here is where I found eleven ten the other night, and it was KFAB. And it was like almost impossible, but I got it. This is 1120. And there's 1100. So right in here is 1110. I was sitting here adjusting. And I was able to get it, so just want to let you know it's available. It happens. It's a good radio. <laughs> Got a new station out of it. Amazing. Normally would not have found it. I think even with my digital pocket, I can barely hear anything on it. So you can hear him talking there. Eleven twenty. Camelot, St. Louis. And I don't know how to pray for more, but I'm going to try. And, and then you went from that into the media. 1140 is uh, WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Well, so I wanted to be an actress, and Mom. Well, this is actually um, WBBR. If you took some time and tuned this. So, uh, it made some sense to encourage this. Um, the question is the size of this. I think so. Yep. 
Cool. So right now we're listening to. Thank you, Ben. That is Bloomberg News Task Reporter Ben Steverman. You're listening to Bloomberg Politics, Policy, and Power on Bloomberg Radio. Coming up, Kim Jong Un puts new pressure on the president to ease sanctions against his country. U.S. payroll gains rebound in April. Payroll's coming in a little bit softer than expected. 164 bounce. Well, it's got to be New York City, the BBBR. I mean, it's the Bloomberg Radio. I'm guessing that is it. BBR, right? Okay, I don't think we have to hover there. Sweet! That's a great, great find. I mean, awesome. I'm 40 again. I did get 1180 last night. This is a local religious station, I believe. 1160. This is 1180. It's 1180. I have a local station that operates on super low power at night, but I, I'm picking them up. <laughs> it's like, they're about, I think, 30 miles away, but they're operating like, it said one watt, but I think it might be like 10 watts or 100 watts. I'm not sure, but I hear the music and I'm like, hey, I'll bet you that's that station. And it, it is. So there's a little bit of music behind there. Cool. So, don't know if I said it. This is 1180 Rochester, New York, WHAM. 545 miles. So this is 1210. Nope. I think this is it. A bunch of stations over each other. Cool. So we're almost at the 30 minute mark. So let me just uh, show you. We'll go up to the top of the dial here. We did quite a bit of band scan. There's a lot of stations in here. Try to find 1610. So you can see where this dial lines up on the top end. Okay, so this is 1590. And you can see the dial seems to be off on the top end here. So it's kind of a bummer. Sixteen ten. Close up of the dial. That's where sixteen ten is. See where it tops out of here for us at the end. So we're getting 1700 right there. So it, it's like the dial moves a little bit there, like it doesn't know where to be at the end, but that's okay. You know, it's not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, so there you go. That's the band scan. Um, I mean, I got up to like 1,200, and I had to go up to here. There's there's not much between 12 and 1,600. That's like huge. I mean, there's a 1310 Ottawa, CIWW. Um, there's a couple of faint stations: St. Louis, Davenport, Des Moines, Peoria, Nashville. Um, we yeah, I heard some of those: 1510, 1520, 1530, 1540. Those we could find probably pretty easily. So yeah, great radio. Definitely um, 
it gets my approval. <laughs> Definitely recommend this radio for a DX performer. If you, you know, are wanting to look for an AM powerhouse, this is it. This is one of them. <laughs> Uh, somebody mentioned there's a, another Sanjean radio out there. It's supposed to be really good on the AM. I'm going to try to score one of those and put it for review and see how it does against this radio because I kind of want to find something that balances. I had this, uh, and it's hard to do a uh, versus video, so it's just kind of be like my opinion versus, you know, I'm not going to show both radios back. It's just too hard to maneuver. So what I'm going to do is give you guys an idea. This radio uh, is equaling my super radio right now, my GE. Um, I was tuning through it, and it was finding the same same stations during the day and night, which is a good test. Um, so I was really surprised. Though this radio has the edge with nulling out the stations with this um, fine tuning on the on the antenna. I, I can't tell you how invaluable this little knob is right here on this radio. Just makes it amazing. So I hope uh, in the future models that they address the power uh, spike type thing. That which is getting seems like it's getting louder. I don't know. Um, I'm not worried about it. They got a good warranty, so. Um, if there's something, I'll just give them a call and say, hey, this radio's not working right. But uh, yeah, hopefully address that, because a lot of people are probably going to complain. That doesn't seem like a normal thing on a radio. It shouldn't be, I don't think, but that's my opinion. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care, and goodbye.